Let's find the GCF. That's the greatest common factor for 28 and 36. When we talk about greatest common factor, sometimes you'll see it greatest common divisor or highest common factor. I like this greatest common factor here. Let's use that. So what we do, we find all the factors of 28 and 36, look at the common factors and choose the greatest one, GCF. So for 28, we have one times 28, two times 14, that equals 28, and then four times seven, I think that's it. For 36, one times 36, two times 18, three times 12, there are a lot of them, four times nine, and then six times six. All of these are the factors for 36. So let's find the common ones. One goes into 28, one goes into 36 evenly. So that's a common factor. Two, that works. Four, we have that. And then it looks like four is the greatest common factor that goes into 28 and 36 evenly. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 28, 36, that's gonna be four. There are other methods you could use like prime factorization, but unless you have a big number, these work really well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.